Stop, my friend. Are you aware that today is Transsexual Visibility Awareness Day? Today is the day that we notice them more. Are you aware of this? You are not. Oh, you thought it was yesterday? No. Yesterday was when Christ defeated death. Today is when Mark chops his balls off and thus becomes a woman. A proud, beautiful, stunning woman. And in honor of that, we're going to make the ultimate sacrifice. Where God himself sacrificed his son on behalf of our forgiveness. We're about to make a couple sacrifices ourselves for the sake of tolerance and acceptance. Have you ever considered the fact that your balls might be holding you back in this life, this society? Have you ever thought about the fact that by having a pair of balls, you, you're weighing yourself down in this life? I'll carry that weight. I weigh 360 pounds. It's, it really isn't any more than perhaps my elbow grease. But you, on the other hand, you have a chance to really get in with the in crowd. Yes. You see, I, Eric, cannot go near a woman because they automatically know this is some chubby kid who's trying to get closer to me. I, a woman, an object of their desire. But you, if you were to chop your balls off right now, and if you were to just fillet your manhood, you might have a chance of getting closer to the fair sex. And they can't say anything about it. Otherwise, you can then say that they're victimizing you and you get to beat the crap out of them. It's a win-win all around. So, I'm going to need you to just pull them down. Pull down your trousers. Settle yourself. Settle yourself. Take a deep breath. This is not a negotiable. This is not something you have a choice in. Okay? I looked at you looking at the Yankee Candle store. You were window shopping for a clear 0.7 seconds. That tells me that this is your true identity. You were always meant to be a woman. So now I'm going to be cutting your balls off. And liberating you. From this oppression that you carry between your legs. So I'm going to, I'm going to... I'm going to need you to just stay extra still. Okay, this is going to be a multi-leveled process. Are you familiar with bananas? You know how they peel them like that? Yeah. So we're going to just be peeling your banana. Side from side, skin from skin. And then you know how there's that little like stem on the inside that carries the urine? Yeah. We're gonna just tuck that in deeper. And then, guess what? By the end of the, oh, we're also gonna be removing your cherries. But by the end of the process, you might be able to go inside of a girl's locker room and tell me what a boob looks like. A female boob, all I have on my own. So, this is not something that I will tolerate disagreement upon. You will do it. And you will love it. And in about seven to ten years, you will inexplicably live a shorter and premature life and then die. But it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. So, where are the trousers down? Yeah. Ooh, right there. Yeah. And we're getting them, we're getting them right on out. Getting them right on out. Trust me. You weren't even using this in the first place. You didn't need them. What was the point? It's better to live a life without balls if it means that you can be closer to women as a woman than to live a life with balls and have them be so blue. But don't worry. We'll be taking these out. Here, listen to your blue balls as they say goodbye to you. These were holding you back the entire time. It's like Shawn Mendes said. There's nothing holding you back now. You take me places and tear up my reputation. Maybe there's nothing holding me back. You see?
see those little glittery, those glittering little, little spedacles? That's your gay sperm leaving your body. Look at them. These, these were not strong sons. You had no need for your balls. These are gone now. Goodbye. Now I'm going to be removing the little cherry stem from your, from your, from your phallus. And I'm going to be just... That way you pee like a girl. I'm going to go right in. It's just... Shh. I'm just going to jimmy it on out. This is going to be the best thing that's ever happened to you. This is literally going to resolve every problem you've ever had in life. This is going to make sure that you never feel a bad emotion ever again in your life. You are going to become who you were always meant to be. A boy in a girl's locker room. I would trade places with you if I could, but unfortunately for me, I, I, I have to lose weight first. And I don't know if I could ever do that. So I don't think I'm ever gonna be qualified for this true destiny of yours. You know, sometimes I think I'm a woman. Whenever I wake up. Whenever I look at boobies, I'm always like, I wish I had those. And some men, some men just get them done. That's called ambition. That's called dedication. That's called a real man. Only real men get boob jobs after wanting boobs so badly that they just pay the money to get them plastic surgery upon their bodies. Only real men get lip jobs and whole facial feminization surgeries to become the women they want or to become the women that straight men want. Now, you will be peeing like a girl from now on. You're welcome. Now I'm going to be smashing a hole between your legs. That is going to be your new fajigliche. This is through which you're going to have to dilate yourself because it technically is a wound, but it's not a wound. It's your fajigli. It's your, it's your womanhood. So you're going to have to try and uh, make sure that it stays open because it's going to scab over and get infected and bubble up like molten lava or like the poor the poor mountain of Pompeii before it blew over with all of that magma although that would be pus not the pus but pus like dead skin as in it's dying between your legs it's a brutal death i assure you but i'm going to just be smashing smashing it it's, it's smashing i assure you I just needed to make sure it was big enough for all girls to like you. Except girls that could be easy to bully into silence over not liking you. There we go. I'm just going to now make sure that it remains open. I'm going to need you to put this inside of you at all times. So that way you just keep that hole open. We want to make sure that those girlies know you're a pal. So I'm just going to carve that open right there. It's going to leave ridges. You're going to enjoy it a lot. There we go. Here we go. Ah, oh, perfect. Ah, oh, beautiful. Splendid. I light this candle in remembrance of who you truly are. My best friend who's made the ultimate sacrifice to be able to get to the girls. And if they ever complain, you just hit them for complaining about their safety. It's a win-win. I will literally defend you so hard where if any girl were to come up to you and say, oh, he's a boy, he shouldn't be in here. I'm going to be like, hey, I've, I've never hit a woman. But if you keep mocking my friend, my, my eunuch woman friend, I'm sorry, but 
you're just not that protected anymore for me to not lay hands on you now. It's seen as noble. So, <clears throat> I'm so glad we could celebrate Trans Awareness Day on April Fool's Day, which is the most transsexual holiday of the year. No, it's not March 31st. It's April 1st. Duh. Obviously. What do you think you say after you get them into bed? April Fool's. Sorry, you're gay now. But I just can't believe you would do this for me. You're a real pal. A real buddy. Now just try to take as many photos as you possibly can in your own liberation and get as many girls in the background as possible. And if they complain, just remember, peer pressure, reputation destroying, and violence. These are all very feminine qualities that you now as a man woman can now use against them with your manly, I mean womanly strength. It's just brilliant. It's genius. It's just... Wow. Oh. Is this? Who came up with this? 